What's up guys, it's RJ. Welcome back to my channel. If you read the description, then you know it is going to be a Sephora haul day. I picked up a few goodies during the VIB sale last week and I thought I'd share them all with you. Before we get into it, don't forget to hit that like button and if you haven't already, subscribe. So how cute is this bag, first of all? This is like a reusable tote bag. Um, they had some different sizes that they were handing out when you made your purchase. Originally, the lady just gave me the normal, um, just paper um, Sephora bag, but I was like, oh no, I want the cute reusable one. So fortunately, I don't know if you were supposed to spend a certain amount to get it, but um, I had my coupon and my insider card, so to me that was good enough. So I got it, and let's see what's inside. Right, so first up is the Sephora Favorites Glow For It Kit. Um, this has been in my uh, loves folder on Sephora for forever, and I knew I was going to get it as soon as the VIB vib sale happened and of course it was sold out so i went in i looked online they had it at my local sephora so they said they had two left i went in to get it there was literally a lady grabbing two off the shelf as i walked in and going to pay for it and i was like crushed because i really wanted it and fortunately the people at sephora were so great they checked at another sephora store that's only about 15 minutes down the road from my local store and they had like several in stock so i went down there and picked that up but anyway you don't care about my story what you really want to do is see what's inside so without hopefully dumping this on me there are the contents inside all right so first up is this milk product uh, it's a oil it's got like a little um, like roller ball I don't know if this is supposed to be used like a primer um, but I'm excited. I just got some milk mascara and I really like their products. So I'm excited to try this out. Um, then another oil is the Custom FX. And this looks like a little droplet, uh, dropper. Yeah, it is. I don't know if you guys can see that. I did that so quick. But it's a little dropper. And... I was trying to see if it had, it just says shake well before use, but again, I think this is maybe just an all over um, item for your face. Um, then we have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. Um, this, I believe you mix in with your um, like foundations or you can put it on top just to add a little bit of shimmer to your face. I have um, the Backlight Primer and that's kind of what I think that one does as well. I don't know. It was cool and I bought it. I don't know what all these things are for. So, um, it also comes with the Benefit. It's so shiny. The Watts Up. So this is just like a stick that you can use to highlight. And let's swatch that. Ooh, I did like a couple swipes so it'd really show up, but this is super pretty. Let's see it right there. Yes, that is gorgeous. I'm excited about that one. Next up is the Lancome. You can unscrew it. And this, even if it's not a full-size product, this is really big. This is at least the size of, if not larger, than the ColourPop highlighters. Um, it's so pretty. I hate to swatch it. Ooh. So that's it there in the center. And that's got a really good color to it as well. Um, the first one is a little bit more, I would say, gold. And then the middle one is a little bit more rose gold. So that's more the color you get when you mix that little swirl together. And then lastly is the Hourglass. That one is so pretty. This one might be a little light for me. Um, yeah, it's a little light probably for my skin complexion, um, but I can still probably get away with using it in certain spots. This one is a little bit more um, powdery. The first... Uh, or the Lancome one is more creamy. This one is a little bit more powdery. 
yeah, like when I rub the Lancome one, it kind of absorbs into my skin. It's It still gives the shimmer, um, but the Hourglass one just kind of fades away a little bit. So a little bummed about that, but I'll still give it a try. Obviously, this is just a finger swatch, so we'll see how it does uh, on the brush on my face. But again, that was this goodie. Next up is another in-store purchase. Uh, this is the Drunk Elephant. And this is the Day Glow set. Um, I picked this one up because I wanted to try the products, but I thought this was a good way um, to try this. This is just two, like, um, I would almost say, like, deluxe sample sizes. Um, it was $23 and then 20% off of that. And inside you get these two goodies right here. So this is, I think, enough um, to try it out and see if you like it. Um, it came with the C Firma Day Serum, which is a firm and brightener, and then the B Hydrative Intensive Hydrating Gel, which is to quench and illuminate. And I have heard people compare this to the Sunday Riley products, um, which are expensive. Uh, Drunk Elephant isn't necessarily cheap either, but I like to, before I invest in like $90 for a bottle of skincare, um, this is the perfect way to try it out. Um, so I got this little kit here. And next up, I picked up the Buxom White Hot Lips 3-piece set. Uh, this was $18, a $30 value, and then of course 20% off of that. So it comes with a uh, liquid lipstick and then two uh, lippies. So the colors are Sinful Cinnamon, Rose Julep, and Sultry Mauve. Let's take a look at those swatches. And then next up is from Bite Beauty. This is the Amuse Bouche Lipstick Duo. Um, I actually thought I picked up a different set than I did. It was at the um, register when you're going to check out, and I had picked up one and looked at it and sat it down, and I thought I picked up the same one. Um, but I think I like this one better than the one I was looking at. This is the Bronze Duo. So it looks like this. And then if you pop it open, two different colors. So this down, see it there. So I thought that was really cool. And this is bronze. They also have a gold, um, but this is the one I went with. And then here's the packaging I didn't show you, but here's the packaging if you're looking for it in store. And my Sephora had it at like um, the little end cap next to the register. So. And last thing that I got in store, I did um, 100 points to try out a Sunday Riley item. Um, like I said, I've kind of been debating between those two products, um, the Drunk Elephant and the Sunday Riley. So this was a 100 point perk. I think you can get it online as well. I don't know if that's focusing, um, but this is the Mattifying Melting Water Gel Toner. And I just picked up a couple other Sunday Riley products in some other little kits I got. So I want to put these and try using them all together and see how it works. So I will let you guys know on that. Um, I only have three items left. These I all purchased online. Uh, the first one is the Huda Beauty um, this is the lip contour set. As you can see, I'm all about lipsticks right now. Um, but I've been seeing her stuff all over the place, and I haven't tried it out, and I wanted to. So this set comes with the pencil and then two liquid lips. And the shades, let's see. So the liquid lip and this color are both trendsetter, and then this is bombshell. And I've actually never seen the wands on these, so let's open one up. Okay, so just a normal doe foot applicator. And then let's swatch these. So the first swatch is, of course, the pencil in trendsetter. Here we have the liquid lip in trendsetter, other liquid lip in bombshell. And if you look on the back of the package, it actually shows you kind of how to do the application. So I'm definitely gonna try to do it um, 
like they suggest to start with and then we'll see how it goes so we'll try that out and next up I picked up um, just this little um, Sephora brush cleaner um, I wanted the larger one but it wasn't in stock so I got the mini one to try it out there we go and it's just um you know the balm that you just get it wet rub your brushes in and clean them out um, my brushes are desperately in need of cleaning and so I picked this up because I just ran out of the uh, one I was using which I can't remember the name of it something with a J but. then lastly I picked up a Tarte uh, foundation so I've been trying is we're going into um, winter just to pick up a couple different colors I had went um, a couple shades darker during the summer and now um, I'm definitely lightening back lightening back up um, so this is the Amazon clay full coverage foundation uh, it's 12 hour uh, oil free and I got the shade light honey no light medium honey um, and so I had actually swatched this in the store. It looked like a pretty good match um, on my, of course, hand. So we will try it out on my face and see how that goes. But there's the packaging on that one. I love this little like wood bottom on it. So cute. And then that's it. Uh, the only thing I have left is just a couple of the free samples that you get when you place an order. Um, I picked up a, what is, that, what is this? The clean break oil free moisturizer and I picked up the Sephora instant moisturizer cream and then I did pick up this uh, naked skin urban decay color correcting fluid and it's got it comes with the I think the orange and the green and these little um, tubes and I'm gonna open it and see what it looks like okay so that's cool that's a, I mean, I don't know how much is in here, but that's pretty cool for the, um, just the free sample. If I can get it back in the container. I did it. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this Sephora haul. It seemed like much more when I was swiping my card, um, but I'm excited to try out all these products. Hopefully we'll have a get ready with me video coming up soon um, because I bought a few other new items. We'll try them all out. See you next time. Bye.